hello hello guys welcome back welcome welcome back to another video we are going to learn from amazon university something very important uh, about uh, the uh, brand and something uh, the beginner who they are just uh, uh, start the business so we just uh, reach here today the amazon university so we are go going to learn about uh, selling international and how to you build how to use to build in uh, your amazon store build a stand for build international listing we are going to learn how to build international listing tools with tools this is very very important tips to understand uh, as long with the learning how to uh, how to uh, learn international listing on amazon store we are we will learn the tool and rule from amazon university so we are here today so we will discuss some of the very important topic regarding to this uh, headline for beginner introduce uh, intro to uh, online selling okay things to know before you are creating create a seller account editing your brand getting product to customer so for beginner for brand so all kind of people can able to take uh, uh, knowledge from here already selling on amazon you have to just log in so if you are new if you just want to learn right now you can learn here so learn and into introduction on online selling so very first topic about the uh, books how to sell books so let's see very first topic and then we'll be see next uh, other one next step by step so i just want to uh, uh request you something if you're new in this channel just subscribe our channel and just touch the bell icon and if you're regular so just uh, uh like this video and share with your friends so how to sell amazon uh, how to sell books on amazon in 2020 to step by step guide so you can see this picture this picture uh, just uh, giving us little bit information how to uh manage your store so uh, you can uh, co you can sell common book okay so this kind of uh, information amazon giving us if you want to read just uh, read it i don't want to waste your the time so i will jump next one okay so this is somebody selling book online and these are topic we are going to decide what type of books can you sell on amazon and this uh, will be seen next okay so why selling book on Amazon? So the, here is the information I'm just going to. People love to read book. So this uh, get start with uh, uh, just five uh, book. Choose from uh, from a wind uh, sale book. Uh, you choose how to fulfillment order. Okay, merchant something. It's merchants mean you and me like who are those uh, those people who are just doing business just selling so your store you should be look like this if you want to sell your book what type of book you can see here uh, sell new book sell use sell tax uh, textbook sell uh, book without uh, ISBN okay so all kind of inf information here okay so if you want to see more learn more so just see here create book like a electrical book if you want to sell you can sell it okay there is all kind of definition here so which one you want you can choose it's up to you guy okay keyword book title authorize okay so all kind of information are here if you want to take from information here you can take it more okay let's go back and see your the full topic so see the if you manage very well so wow this how they manage the store this uh, front desk how is looking very nice seven steps to selling your book on amazon step two create your amazon seller account 
Step 3. Step 4. Price. Step 5. List your book. Learn. About S and O. About K, S, U. Step 6. Promote and market your book. Step 7. Pack and ship. Okay, how Amazon receiver receiver your inventory? I mean your atom. Okay. Let's see one video, then we will discuss. Amazon fulfillment centers are complex operations in vast spaces. Our prep, labeling, and packing requirements are designed for our fulfillment center associates to handle your units as efficiently as possible. This allows us to process millions of orders every day and helps Amazon provide the best experience for our customers. Before you ship your products to Amazon fulfillment centers, it is important to make sure they are packaged properly and are e-commerce ready so they can be quickly received and available for sale. Each unit that arrives at our fulfillment center that does not meet our requirements delays the receipt of your inventory and increases the risk that a unit could be lost, damaged, or incorrectly received. When your shipment arrives, an Amazon associate scans the shipping label to ensure each has a shipment ID that exists in the system and that the shipment is at the proper fulfillment center. Multiple boxes must not be taped or banded together to avoid any confusion, your shipping boxes should not have any other scannable barcodes except the shipping label. Boxes that do not match our size requirements require special handling, which delays the receiving process. The next step in the inbound process is opening the shipping box. If the shipping label is placed over the seam of the box, it can be easily damaged in transit, become unreadable for carrier and Amazon systems, or be destroyed as the Amazon associate opens the box. Place shipping labels on flat surfaces to ensure that the label remains scannable throughout the inbound process. An unscannable shipment label can cause delays in receiving your units. The best packing materials or dunnage to use are foam, air pillows, or full sheets of paper. Packing peanuts and shredded paper slow down the receiving process. For this reason, we do not allow loose packaging materials to be used in inbound shipments. Amazon also verifies that individual units in the shipping boxes have scannable barcodes. Each unit should only have one scannable barcode. If a unit does not have a scannable barcode or has multiple scannable barcodes, it will be sidelined for proper identification by an Amazon problem solver. Case-packed units must only have barcodes on the individual units and not on the outer carton. Barcodes on the outer carton could lead to multiple items being received as one unit. The associate evaluates if the units need additional problem solving. Now take a trip on the conveyor. These units are sent to be stored in inventory. Every unit is scanned into a location so that Amazon knows its exact location. Now when a customer orders your product, it can be quickly picked, packed, and shipped to them without delay. Okay guys, you understand? So, fulfilling order with the, the MFN method. So, let's see this one. Manage order from your seller account, pack, book, get your packings. So, buy shipping servers. So, see, Amazon I'll, uh, showing you again and again. Your, should, uh, your bus store should look like this. Step 7. online research check be 100% new like new very good this is very important guys okay build trust with customer by beginning okay don't lie with your customer if you have you are selling new one put new one if you are selling like new it's mean uh, like second but it's look like new put uh, look like new it's very good put like very good good so 
which kind of item you have product you selling you should have to tell to the your customer i have this kind of uh, product i am selling this like product so don't be lie don't be uh, do anything wrong if amazon will amazon catch you they will shut down your store take care pack, uh, when packing shipping always fulfillment your order keep your pricing okay so these kind of information amazon give you let's see the question okay selling book okay see selling book online faq what does cost see here amazon selling plan give you a the option can i sell my book see yes can i sell uh, books on amazon yes see for free no no big no huh can I sell books on Amazon for free? No. What happened on Amazon book? What type of books? What is unacceptable? What are the fee? Should I only sell book on Amazon? What are the advantage? Is booking ready to get start? Ready to get sir. So our book topic is almost finished. So guys, uh, if you have question, just ask us. We will love you. Give uh, love to give you answer as soon as possible. So. If you not uh, understand one time, watch it uh, one more time, one more time until you uh, get uh, everything understood. Okay guys, that's why I show you this video. It means how Amazon receive your item and how they save your item, how they check your boxes. Uh, if you send the 100 unit, 200 unit, so they will open your box and check you are lie and maybe your suppliers lie and 100, 200 or something and they will send you the email how many uh, atom how many boxes they, uh, they uh, receive your okay, because if they want to make store everything so should everything perfect ok guys so let's jump others Okay, online business ideas. Thirty-eight online business ideas. Watch these. Okay, stories and thinking for selling online. Okay, but not sure how to start your business. Don't be shy. Don't be unscared. So, check this detail. Okay, doesn't matter. You are new you uh you do have experience where you from don't be shy don't be scared okay amazon give, will give you a lot of opportunity to start amazon is just it's not just for the big guy okay for everyone don't be shy don't be scared let me say, uh, show you one video and you will understand more i grew up in mexico city and i come from a family of really hard working women my grandmother was an entrepreneur in the 30s. She started buying and selling wedding gowns. She ended up having the biggest chain store of wedding gowns in Mexico. I saw that strength, that dedication, and that's why I decided to become an entrepreneur. I started working for Procter & Gamble right out of college. That's where I got my logistical background. And then I moved to San Diego and started working for a motorcycle company. Somebody mentioned like, oh, generators that people use during a hurricane would be such a good business. And I'm like, hold my beer. I started selling on eBay. I really thought in my mind that Amazon was for the big guys, not the little guys. That was my first stepping stone as an entrepreneur. My name is Yaf Levin. I'm the founder of Umay Amber from the Woodlands, Texas. There's a lot of competition in the marketplace and having a strong brand is what makes you different. I run three brands on Amazon. The Work and Movement, which is a fitness brand. 
Umay Amber, which is an amber jewelry brand for adults and kids, and Curative Mala, which is meditation, healing, jewelry line. Umay means nurturing. It's my baby. Umay is what I started on Amazon and what I planted as a seed, and now it's starting to, to sprout a little. The people who motivate me the most are my kids because I know that they're young and I know that setting a strong example is key, especially for my daughter. Like, I want her to know that whatever she chooses to be, as long as she works hard, she can do whatever she wants. Okay, guys. 38 ideas. Inspire your next online business okay so let me show you one start fashion and clothing business okay let me show you next up my parents are immigrants they came to this country with three kids and no language and we've always had to work for everything they couldn't afford to leave us in daycare we were always at the factory helping my parents out Going into college, I worked at thrift stores and I started seeing all these name brand jeans and things like that. And I would get a discount for being an employee. So I would buy the jeans at a super discounted price and put them all on um, eBay at the time that business took off. The first person that helped me build the business was my mother. She was the first one that started helping me pack orders. I'm Pavel Platnik founder and operator of ShadesDaddy.com from Miami, Florida. We strictly focus on eyewear, uh, sunglasses and eyeglasses. Our main brand and focus has always been Ray-Ban. There's so much work that goes behind starting a business. People see shows like Shark Tank, they don't see the work behind what these founders are doing, right? As stressful as it is, you, you always come out learning something from it. Since we started selling on Amazon, the business completely changed. We were able to scale a lot quicker. We were able to hire a lot more people. Entrepreneurship was just really in the family blood. My parents as entrepreneurs were always, thank God, able to overcome the challenges and continue building their business. There's nothing more satisfying than showing them that, you know, all their sacrifice was for a reason. Next one, sale books. Okay. The Amazon you know today to start. Okay, let's see about book. As a child, I loved space. I was definitely a nerd. I was always reading whatever book on space, stars, galaxies that I could. I studied it all through high school, all through college, PhD, postdoc, every level of academia. My field of research is asteroid science. I study small rocks in space that fly by close to the Earth and try to understand what they're made out of. From there, you can understand you know, the history of the solar system, how it formed, where we all came from. I'm trained in understanding numbers and data and analytics. So data, whether it's asteroids or shoes, it's all the same analysis. And so I use that skill set to improve how we work the business. I'm Francesca DeMeo. I'm a co-founder and the director of analytics at Cambridge Select. My husband and I were living together, working at our regular jobs. I was an astronomer and he was a mechanical engineer and he wanted to try something different. We bought all of these books and put them all online. It was much more successful than we had been anticipating. We just kept iterating, getting more books, getting more books. And then the thought was, well, how do we scale? So we said, well, let's go into new goods because then you can buy them in larger quantities. Our first account was in footwear. Since then, and we've basically been adding shoes, apparel, accessories, and just little by little adding brands. We started on Amazon in 2011. Every year it's been high growth rates and trying to maintain that. It was really scary leaving the field that I had spent all of my time studying and researching, but once I made that transition and sort of got my feet on the ground, it was like the data's the same, I can still do this. It's a risk, but I think all entrepreneurship is risk, a good risk. Okay guys, so this is a very important topic where which one we are just uh, uh, looking now. We are just uh, looking at some videos, some ideas, some story uh, about the business. So almost uh, do I done it. So let's see the electronic things. When I got out of the Marine Corps, I ran a franchise restaurant business. 
and the recession hit us very hard. I was now looking for a plan B. Well, I joined the Marine Corps in 2015, right after high school. I did two deployments overseas. I served for 11 years on active duty. I served from 2015 to 2019. Embassy security guard. The Marine Corps infantry. Water survival instructor. I was a mortarman. Now I'm an Amazon seller. And now I'm an Amazon seller. I don't think most people understand more than half of the Amazon marketplace is represented by entrepreneurs like myself. Cozy Phones really is a born on Amazon brand, and for us, it's been life changing. We sell hundreds of thousands of units every year. Um, it's cozy. This is Sam. He's one of my neighbors and one of my product testers. They're pretty good. Yeah, I don't have to worry about packaging and sending all of my products to individual customers. Amazon can do that for me. My brand is Coastline Vine, and I sell wine tumblers and wine growlers. I've learned a lot from my dad. The military definitely did give me the structure I needed to help me run and build my business. I'm very proud of Jake's service. Well, I always wanted to be a Marine, even from when I was a kid. I'd say it really is like a band of brothers. The one thing I'm passionate about is seeing veterans succeed as entrepreneurs. There's a lot of stories about veterans who get out of the service and then they struggle. And I think that Amazon is one of the best vehicles for them to succeed. Okay guys, now for one, okay? Launch a personal care brand, okay? So on this one about care. This is about brand. If you want to sell your brand on Amazon, so this is only for you. I am an inventor. As a kid, I love to draw. So I always had this book. Every time I get an idea, I just run to the book, draw it down. When I was 13 years old, my dad was cutting my hair. You have an old school father from the Caribbean. Usually he tries to cut your hair and it just becomes one bald haircut. So I got sick of it and I started creating these templates. I created a product that would help me cut my own hair perfectly. My name's Joshua Esnard. I'm the inventor of the Cut Buddy. It's the first multi-curve hair grooming guide tool that allows you to edge up your beard and your hairlines. And we're based out of Chapel Hill, North Carolina. I released my product on my website originally. I started doing videos, but I'm looking at the comment section and people are roasting me. My hairline was receding. They're calling my hairline like a McDonald's arch. It's time for balding Josh not to be on the videos anymore. And I went and I found some guys that are more handsome than me and they were my affiliates. We went viral. I sold out of my product and it actually went into a deficit. So I ended up owing people products. I was ready to give up. And then you get this email that just changes everything. I had a, a veteran uh, send me this email and it read, I take medication that makes my hands shake. With the Cut Buddy, I can make straight lines and beautiful curves without error. Because of you, even people with disabilities can have nice haircuts. This is the motivation that keeps me going. Up till this date, I've sold nearly 40,000 units of the Cut Buddy on Amazon and we're pushing around $600,000 in gross sales on just the Cut Buddy product. To see a kid from the Caribbean just playing around with little gadgets to something that has set me free financially, it's been amazing. Okay guys, so sale health and fitness. So idea number four, uh, five. I started weightlifting in college. The gym was really a place that I could go and just put some music on and just move the weight. It was really such a stress reliever for me. I'm Christopher French. 
owner of Contraband Sports in Miami, Florida. We sell fitness products, weightlifting gloves, wrist wraps, knee wraps, anything you would need to use in the gym to help you or support your weightlifting. The first year we launched on Amazon, we did 273,000 in sales, which was a staggering number. This year, we're projected to end at 1.1 million. A lot of customers these days are looking for that extremely fast shipping. Our warehouse is in one location. We can't provide that service. Amazon is able to do that for us. So we're able to get the products that we sell in the hands of the customer within two days. And that has been a huge help for us. And if that's all it takes, a pair of gloves with a design on it to get someone back in the gym and to help them with their health. And that's just so rewarding to me. Okay, guys, build a business selling kitchen things. Okay, so this is uh, for kitchen. So if you want to uh, sell kitchen item, so this is for you. I never thought I'll become a businesswoman, but here I am. I come from a very humble background. I grew up in a village with four siblings. We used to stay in one room. We used to get one new dress every year if things went well. And we didn't have a really big school, just a small building. We used to sit on the ground and study. It was a beautiful childhood too. We were close to our parents. Whatever we used to get, we used to share and always be happy with each other. I had to really work hard to get a scholarship. I became an electrical engineer. I worked in a corporate world for a while. But I never enjoyed working in a 9 to 5 job. It didn't motivate me. So I started Avacraft. I'm Asha Vivek, CEO of Avacraft based in uh, Lone Star, Texas. We make really high quality kitchen products. The inspiration for uh, building Avacraft is my family. Uh, I love my family. I enjoy cooking for them. I try to learn all the new cuisines and try making it at home. I am always in the kitchen, so I thought this is the best field. I can create really high quality kitchen products. I didn't have any idea on the design process, uh, anything about the metal composition, no idea on anything. Sometimes I felt, uh, what am I doing? This is a new shipment of Glass Carafe has come, pretty excited about it. This is the final product. Uh, after all the prototypes, you can see. This is my first prototype. The quality I didn't like as it breaks very often. This is the second prototype. Thinking that I made it little tall. In the third prototype, if you see here, you can see a slant, but still the uh, body was bulky. This is the final product after all the prototype. I'm so happy about it. You can use it for water, juice, wine, for everything. My husband Vivek, he instills a lot of um, positivity and inspiration in me. One of the things that Asha actually does in her business a lot, it's like she gets a lot of feedback from customers and she has actually gone ahead and changed the whole, whole mold and the process. She really wants to create something that people can believe in. We have always got your back is our motto. It's just been two years, but I see a tremendous growth in the company. It's been an amazing journey. I feel really good because I can spend lot of time with Vivek and my two daughters. When we moved from India, we came directly to Dallas. It's a good city, good schools. We all are so into doing biking and doing running and we can find a trail everywhere. So whenever we uh, visit India, we make sure we take our kids to my school or where I grew up and where Vivek grew up to show them where we were and where we are here now. Everything is possible. Work hard, keep faith. That's it. If somebody comes up to us and says, I don't really like tea, what we say back to them is, you just haven't found the right tea. Black tea has the most caffeine content and it gets things going. Hibiscus teas are great. They quench that thirst. Chamomile is a, is a natural sedative. Tulsi helps with the mind and stress. So if we can narrow that down into something that you can enjoy on a daily basis, that's what we're here for. My name is Thomas Egbert. I am the creator and founder of Fusion Teas, and we are located in McKinney, Texas. 
Our specialty is loose leaf teas. We have over 130 different teas and blends. We also have accessories to go with that. Amazon is the catapult. Being a new brand, you don't have any trust yet. How do you build that? It was very easy to get that trust from the customers by being on Amazon. Tea is all about connection. That's kind of our passion, and that's what gives us the greatest joy. I grew up loving hair care, having very curly, frizzy, big hair, and was always finding the perfect concoction of a lot of products. I was always enamored with all the products for skincare and everything else. In 2005, my plan was to open up a beauty supply store. Within the first month, I had a vendor offer to put me in touch with all these amazing new luxury brands. What started as a beauty supply venture went into more of a luxury apothecary store. Six years ago, we moved to Studio City. I was friends with one of the biggest floral designers in Los Angeles and asked him if he could come and design my store for me. We did chandeliers and pink walls and velvet flocked wallpaper. The environment is very girly. Men are afraid to walk into the store. I'm launching a brand now. It's makeup, eyeshadows, and then we're gonna go into lipsticks and then keep venturing out from there. My name is Regina Tsehan. My company is The Beauty Box. I started with one store. You think, oh, everybody's gonna come, your friends are gonna come shop with you and everything else. It's so glamorous and it's completely not glamorous. You have to find the mix between marketing, the right products, listening to what your customers want, being able to get the brands that your customers want and bringing all that together. 2006 was the first year that I started selling on Amazon. In the past three years, we've grown double the sales every year. We've been able to offer jobs to people. We've done a lot for the community. It's a big success. I wanted my consumers to be able to buy my product knowing that it's coming from artists and that are being fairly paid. That means everything to me because I'm Peruvian and my dream was always to be able to expose Latin American artisans to markets that they wouldn't be able to reach otherwise. I launched my website in around May 2015 and without marketing, without much knowledge of how to properly launch a product, I just went with the flow. But a month later, I decided to launch on Amazon and they skyrocketed. I saw so many sales, so many people getting the products. I'm very happy for the opportunity to share my culture with the world. Honestly, I shouldn't have even survived. I had brain surgery for an aneurysm and I was really sick. I felt trapped in my body. There's something so beautiful in that lowness, like especially when you get that close to death. It is overwhelming. It is scary. It causes you to reprioritize and look around. What can I do to bring peace into my home? That's a lot of what this business is about, is I make things that I love to make and that I know make other people really happy. This would be called a smudge bundle. A lot of people like to burn these for like new homes. When you buy from Amazon, you're supporting artists like myself. That's exactly what you're getting when you get on Amazon, is a lot of local business that you may just not realize that you were getting. My work is my therapy, it is my healing. For my daughters, they watched their mom go from a place where I was struggling to get out of bed, and they've watched me push and grow and be happy. This one can work really well. This is just really beautiful to me, and if I can make a livelihood out of it, 
that's crazy because I didn't expect that, but it's wonderful. It's kind of like a, a lightsaber. It's just awesome. And no one knows actually how it works. There it is. I'm Caleb Light, VP of Sales at Power Practical from Salt Lake City, Utah. We wanted to create a solution that someone could read a book in their tent that costs $20 or less. And we landed on the Lumen Noodle. It is an outdoor LED strip light designed to light up tents, your kitchen area. It also fits inside of its carrying bag to double as a lantern. It's waterproof, runs off of any USB power source. We ultimately made the decision to pivot from brick and mortar distribution to a direct to consumer company. Our revenue had pretty much flatlined and we were dying. We launched in January 2016 on Amazon and from 2016 to 2017, we grew by 80%. And it was the first time we broke seven figures in one sales channel. We wanna make practical solutions for everyday problems. A lot of times being practical and not overly complicated is what is most important. This is Rocco, this is Banks, this is Roxy the cat, and this is Roxy the dog, and this is Kira. They're all product testers here at Rocco and Roxy. Rocco and Roxy is our brand of pet products for dogs and cats. We make supplies for dogs so they can have more fun things to do. Come on, pick your toy. Do you like this toy? Chicken versus turkey. Come on, Roxy, you can do it. I think Banks likes it. <laughs> oh, she went for the turkey. Roxy. Oh, hey, Roxy. I would say that we're a true Amazon success story. I help my mom with some of the dog tags and some stuff. It's fun to have my family here. In the office on any given day, there is my 88-year-old father, me, my brother, and then my nieces. So it's four generations in the office. We actually started our business right here in my father's living room. We try to make as much locally as we can in Utah. Oi, Rocco. We really launched our business on Amazon. We wouldn't be here if that opportunity hadn't been available. Now we're in three different spaces and we're kind of busting at the seams still. We have to pinch ourselves sometimes. We've been so blown away with how well these products have been received. Looks like we sold 100 no chew yesterday. We feel really great about our partnership with Amazon and the business that we've been able to grow. We're taking the next step and moving into a much bigger building, which will be built this summer. I grew up in Newport Beach, California, so I love being out on the water. And I was in the Bahamas a few years ago, and that's when I first ran into a glass bottom kayak. And man, that thing was cool. You could see right down into the ocean, it's like a snorkel mask, and I thought, why can't I make the entire kayak out of this material? And so that's exactly what we did. My name is Andrew Walker. I'm the president of the Crystal Kayak Company based out of Deerfield Beach, Florida. When we considered Amazon for selling kayaks, that was our number one concern, is how the heck can we sell something that's 11 feet long that needs to be shipped by truck? And it actually was a lot easier than I expected. Amazon now accounts for about 10 to 12% of our annual sales volume. I'm an Amazon shopper myself. I want that Amazon Prime label next to our product. It is brutally difficult to turn a small business into a successful business. And I like that Amazon seems to be geared towards small businesses and helping us out. At age 13, I went outside one day in my backyard to go practice lacrosse. It was over the course of the week where I really got this top shot. We call it the sweet spot in lacrosse, but the net started fraying, and then like I ripped a hole in it. The next one I threw went straight through the hole and into the lake in the backyard. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I have to get a whole new goal. I entered into the Young Entrepreneurs Academy. We had a speaker come in and tell us about how oftentimes businesses are centered around problems that the owner finds in their day-to-day -day life. 
So I decided, oh my God, this is the problem that I have to fix. And I would actually go to my teammates, my coaches, and other people interested in the sport of lacrosse and ask them what their needs are for their practice equipment. I took all of that to heart and kind of used that to design and create my products. My name is Rachel Zeitz. I am the CEO and founder of Gladiator Lacrosse, which is based out of Boca Raton, Florida. When you reach out to people as a teenager, they don't really notice you as an authority figure yet. And I learned to be really persistent in the things I want to accomplish and to not take no for an answer. Amazon Prime especially has been pivotal for our company because I know our products are very large and it's very difficult to ship. Sending them to Amazon and having customers receive a rebounder in two days is amazing for all the players out there. I'm able to plan way in advance by having Amazon take care of shipping, tracking, and customer service for those orders and taking a load off of me while I'm able to go study for my math test. I grew up just loving all kinds of art. Everyone, my friends and family just told me that if I majored in art, it would just be a waste of money. I had a friend approach me who was getting married, and that was my first ever wedding invitation, and I loved it. It started out slowly, overcoming mistakes, figuring out printing and designing and all of that. We had about two to three brides a day that I was working on, and it reached a point where there just wasn't enough me to go around. I just didn't know what to do. So I said, there's got to be a way that we can mass print these. We found a, a very small, you know, kind of mom pop shop that was based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Now they print everything and they ship it to Amazon on our behalf. I'm Josh Hadley. And I'm Becca Hadley. And we are co-founders of Hadley Designs based in Flower Mound, Texas. We are a lifestyle and stationary brand. Our business quickly scaled on Amazon because we were able to reach a much greater audience. This year, we're already on target to hit over a million dollars in total gross sales. When we initially started dating, we didn't know that we were set to launch a new brand or a new business or anything like that. It naturally grew out of our love and our friendship. My biggest support system is Becca, and I hope she feels the same way about me. <laughs> Phở có mặt ở mọi nơi trên thế giới Nhưng để nấu một tô phở có hương vị chuẩn Việt thì rất khó Tôi thấy mình cần phải có trách nhiệm Đưa hương vị thật sự của phở ra toàn thế giới Tôi là Thanh Nguyên, chủ thương hiệu của phở Hai Thiền Đây là câu chuyện của cuộc đời tôi Tại Việt Nam, phở như một món ăn hàng ngày có nhiều vị thuốc vì vậy, nó cần phải tươi, ngon và đơn giản Điều cần nhất là phải không có hóa chất phụ gia Gia đình tôi đã làm bánh phở suốt 40 năm qua Tôi mất 3 năm để tạo ra những sợi phở sắc màu từ rau củ quả Và cũng là lần đầu tiên xuất hiện ở Việt Nam Trong quá trình cố gắng tìm ra hương vị phở chuẩn Việt nhất Tôi cảm nhận được sức mạnh của sự gắn kết cộng đồng đó là giữa người nông dân, người làm gia vị và người nấu phở Tất cả đều hội tụ trong một tô phở hoàn hảo Nhiều khách du lịch mong muốn tôi nấu phở trên chính quê hương của họ Bởi vì những gì tôi đang làm là sự khác biệt Tất cả đều đến từ thiên nhiên Đúng là trong họa có phúc Khi Covid khiến tôi đóng cửa tất cả quán phở Nhưng Amazon đã mở ra cho tôi cơ hội tiếp cận thị trường khách hàng lớn hơn rất nhiều Giúp đưa văn hóa ẩm thực Việt ra toàn thế giới Tôi có thể cảm nhận được mình đang nấu phở cho những người cần tôi nấu phở. On January 1st, 2012, I started out the new year by going to the gym. And on my way, I got in a car accident. So not the best start to a new year. It was really minor, and after filling in the police report, I actually continued on to the gym. However, over the next week or so, I started noticing at work that my back would be sore, and it was totally fine on the weekends. The internet recommended that I try standing desk. The standing desk started at several thousand dollars a piece. I didn't even know if I would like a standing desk, so I started by getting some empty cardboard boxes, and I hacked myself a standing desk. Let me just try and see if I like this, and I did. I also got a lot of feedback from colleagues. I was shocked at how many of them said, oh yeah, maybe I should stand at work. And I thought, I can do this. 
Just a little over a year after the accident, I launched my product on Amazon. I'm Day Martin, I'm the CEO of Standsteady. I started selling on Amazon in the spring of 2013. We're looking at two times revenue every year, so the business doubling yearly. And on a multi-million dollar business, that's pretty exciting growth. I have two kids, a 10-year-old boy and a six-year-old girl, and they're the light of my life. All day long, I'm doing work and doing the things that I need to do to build my business, and then you come home and you realize what it's all about. The most heartbreaking thing for any parent to see is their child in pain. Nicole is our firstborn, so that time we were very inexperienced parents. So when we see that she has eczema, rashes all over her face, we felt very upset. We had an idea to create an all-natural and organic detergent that would ease Nicole's eczema. We are Happy Ganics, and this is our story. About 20% of the children will have eczema, and at least half of them will not recover for the rest of their life. Personal care products have synthetic chemicals inside that will affect their skin and they will cause irritation to them. Nature has always been a big part of us, so we turn to it for answers. We tried various methods to find the right mix and to use only the best active ingredient. After a year, we came up with a formula that helped Nicole recover from eczema. We want to distribute it to more countries, reach out to more customers. But when the pandemic hit, all this had to stop. The pandemic was very bad for us. It actually affected all our retail sales. If I have to close down this company, it would really be a heartbreak. We redirected our business online to our Amazon store, and it opened our doors to the world. Our idea is to bring happiness to more people. Now, we are helping more than 100,000 families around the globe with our products. My car got broken into my senior year of high school. They caught the thief, and I spent the insurance money on a t-shirt heat press. Took the heat press to college at the University of Michigan, started pressing t-shirts in our dorm room. We raised $16,000 from friends and family, and uh, were able to buy a entry-level t-shirt printer. So one day, the semi-truck pulls up behind our apartment, and never even occurred to me to like measure my doorways. My landlord had to sign off on it, so I just explained, like, I need this to pay rent. And we did our first year of the company out of there. I think our neighbors probably thought we were drug dealers. Customers would pull up, we'd run out, give them a bag of shirts, they'd give us cash. My name is Jerry Kozak. I'm one of the owners at the Ann Arbor T-Shirt Company in Ann Arbor, Michigan. It's a tough industry, but I think as a marketer, it's a dream because if they love rock climbing, we have rock climbing shirts. If they're proud to be from Finland, we have a Finnish shirt. And when it hits, it's really rewarding too because the feedback you get is like, oh my God, I never thought I would be able to find a shirt for my grandmother's village in rural Italy, and here it is. We went from $1.5 million in revenue in 2012 when we got on Amazon to $5 million plus last year. We moved into Canada and the UK this year. I never would have thought you could be a significant exporter, you know, just as a small business in the Midwest, but you absolutely can. My dad was an immigrant and he built an insurance agency from the ground up. We had to work and chip in from an early age and learn to enjoy it. Yeah, you learn that it's good to be smart, but it's a lot better to be a hard worker for us staying on top of best equipment, best practices, and then best sales channel. That kind of lets us roll with the punches. Ninety-nine percent of the products we sell are gifts, and we feel like to connect people is what drives us. Every once in a while, a customer will send us their baby pictures with yeah. our product in the picture. Yeah, we love it. 
I'm Kristen Cipolla. And I'm Jason Cipolla. And we are the owners of My Personal Memories from Coral Springs, Florida. We personalize gifts for all different occasions. Pocket watches, glassware. Beach towels and baby towels. Being on Amazon Seller Fulfilled Prime, as a custom seller, we need to be able to engrave it and embroider it exactly how the customer wants it, and then get it in the box and out the door all within three to four hours. We can actually do that and pull that off now. Our workers are awesome. We have such a great group of people and we just include them on everything. Business on Amazon has been doubling in size every year for the last three years. We were right there on the ground floor when Amazon custom started. The business really exploded from there. It's incredible. We feel very blessed to be able to do this. When I found out that we were pregnant with our second child, I started looking at products for our baby registry. I wanted something that made me feel good, but that was also in style right now. I wanted it to have a pattern that everyone was like, oh my goodness, that's so cute. And that's when we decided that we were gonna start our brand Kids and Such. My name is Channing and this is my husband, Justin, and we sell products for mom and baby. One of my favorite ones, we have what's called a multi-use cover. The bottom has a burp cloth, so you can nurse and you can also flip it over your shoulder so that you can burp the baby right after you feed. It's been interesting testing out our products. I totally worn the nursing cover and pretended to nurse my fake baby. <laughs> in the beginning, we had no idea how to get in front of our customer. And for Amazon, that's already there. So we launched our business straight out of the gate on Amazon. Went from about 20 to 30K a month, all the way to 130K a month. Mind blown. And here we are. <laughs> I've always been passionate about bringing together technology and biology to make a positive impact in the world. My name's Nish Bhatt. I'm a co-founder of Color in Burlingame, California. So this is the Color test. It's an at-home DNA test for cancer risk. There's a tube that's provided in this box, and you can provide a small amount of saliva, put it back in the same box, drop it off in any USPS mailbox, and it gets sent back to our lab where it gets processed to generate a result that's unique to you. Whereas previous companies offer this type of testing service only through a hospital, we wanted to offer a model that's much more accessible. We're always trying to reach more people. Amazon has been amazing in terms of reaching a bigger and bigger audience. Thanks to Amazon Prime, we're also getting it in their hands immediately. So that speeds up the process and the rate at which they can get their actionable results. At Color, I get to work every day on a product that can enable people to live longer and healthier lives. And it's incredibly humbling and gratifying to be a part of that. I do embrace the word mompreneur, and I think there are women that are using that more and more these days. I'm Kelly Fidio, and I have a brand called One Savvy Girl, and I'm from Redondo Beach, California. I'm a mom and a wife, and I want to have products that I enjoy using and can enjoy sharing with other women. This is our Savvy Infusion water bottle. It's got a flip top spout. Here's your fruit infusion chamber, and you fill that with all your fresh natural ingredients. Uh, my personal favorites are cucumber, lime, and strawberry. And then you just shake it up and then you drink. Being an Amazon seller really allows me to not only provide a great life for my family, but also to show my kids that you really can do it all as a mom, as a woman, as a small business owner. There's no other opportunity I know of out there like that. In our first full year on Amazon, we were able to reach the seven figures in revenue and growing steadily ever since. Success is doing what you love every day and being able to build your business around your life.
between cotton swabs and bobby pins and car keys. People will try anything. They're desperate to get wax out of their ears. My name is Melanie Morris, and I'm the marketing manager for Eosera based out of Fort Worth, Texas. We all have ear wax. There's nothing that should be gross or uncomfortable or embarrassing about needing to clean your ears. As a company that innovates in the ear care category, that's something that's very important to us to communicate. Earwax MD was designed to work very quickly and very effectively. So unlike other earwax removal products where you have to use them for four to five days, this product is designed to work in the comfort of your own home in 15 minutes. We are also launching a product called Earwax Pet, similar to Earwax MD, but tweaked for animals. We sell with Amazon exclusives, and we actually love that because we get a dedicated account manager who we can reach out to if we have any issues. We wanted to be agile and start small because we had no idea how quickly or not quickly the product would move. Within two weeks of being on Amazon, we sold out. Having clean ears is imperative to your health for a number of reasons, and we are on a mission to create products that really do fill a gap in the medical space. You spend a, a ton of your life in a bed, so it's important that if you're gonna be there, you might as well be comfortable, right? My name is Kyle Schmidt. I'm with Cardinal & Crest out of Evansville, Indiana. Cardinal & Crest is a bedding brand that we sell on Amazon. We've been able to employ a lot of people in Evansville, Indiana. From start to finish of the manufacturing process is done like 150 feet from where I sit every day. And just to support our community like that is really important to us. So this is our bamboo mattress pad. It is made from rayon from bamboo on top, polyester cluster fiber filling on the inside. Pretty high quality, all made in the USA. Our mattress pads are three to five times thicker than an average mattress pad on the market. Cardinal & Crest started a little over a year ago as a brand on Amazon. It's probably the first time in the history of the world that somebody is able to just go from idea to product creation to putting it in front of a hundred million customers, just literally like that. We're just gonna continue to launch high quality products, all made in America, as much as possible and as, as big a scale as we can. was 21 long years of war. As I did my research, I learned that the war was starting to come to an end. I set a goal, hopped on a plane, and went to Uganda to see what I could do. We went to a refugee camp, and we came upon an old man saying, why have you forgotten our people? Not knowing what I could do, I promised this old man, Tiger, that I would go back and tell my people. That's how the foundation started. We went out to the cooperatives of women that were making the beads that we sell. The women use that money to pay school fees for their children and orphans. We reinvest back into the women through giving them business training and buying more product. My name is Susie Benson Gillis and I am the CEO and founder of African Promise Foundation. The jewelry we sell is literally trash turned into treasure. The women design the majority of their pieces. We have two cooperatives of women that we buy from. One is from the north, they're the Acholi people. All of them are former refugees. Many of them have HIV and AIDS and all of them are caring for orphans. And then we have another cooperative in the southern part of the country. Amazon fell into my lap. I was at a craft show selling our product and a woman came up to me and wanted to hear the story. Her husband works for the exclusives team, so he reached out to me. I'm a nonprofit, but I'm also a social business. So if you have a way that you can do something that you love while helping others, it's a win-win situation. What inspires me about Uganda are the people. You can step into a humble hut and be offered, you know, maybe the only meal of the day graciously. Oftentimes we as Americans go over to developing countries thinking that we're going to do something to change the people or to change their way of life. The truth is when you go to Uganda, you're the one who's changed. I'm Scott Nicholson in Todd, North Carolina, the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina.
I can't drive to town if I need a, a cart and a meal. It's not really convenient. So, you know, you may be snowed in for three days. You better have some food, your heating, your firewood. A lot of it's pretty boring to most people, but it's important to like feed the dogs, <laughs> feed the chickens. Those guys are getting up at seven o'clock no matter what, and they need to be taken care of, so there's no sleeping in. My goal was to always live like this. I just didn't know if writing would be a part of it. I grew up on the uh, front porch storytelling. I think that was my first exposure to the supernatural and ghosts that eventually became an interest in writing that kind of stuff. We were pretty poor growing up. I had uh, like five kids living in a little bitty trailer and uh, having a, a stack of paper just felt like wealth to me. In 1994, I took a couple of writing classes and that was the first time I had a teacher that said, you can do this, I say go for it. And I didn't really know what that meant. And he was like, you gotta write every day. I had 105 rejections before my first story sale. So I was sending out stories and getting three rejection slips in the mail and sending three out all the time. The business was funneling through tighter and tighter um, hoses and there were, you know, it's like only a few agents and only a few publishers and it's kind of like everything was uh, shrinking. Passion, feeling, emotion, specifically one of the feelings natural to all men as fear, hate, love, joy, etc. Oh, there was a conventional wisdom that you'd hear it at the conventions, you'd read it in the books. How only hacks self-publish. You have to get an agent. You've got to prove yourself by getting a million rejection slips. And then someone has to tell you that you're worthy. That was the turning point was when I quit sending that book to publishers and published it myself instead. And then at the end of the year, I added up all my income for the year month by month. It was like, if it's that solid, and it is already exceeding my uh, day job as a journalist, so I need to quit. This is the time to jump, <laughs> and it worked out. This has always been my goal in life as a writer, is to be able to make it work and stay at home and write on, according to my own schedule and have that freedom. Drive, to cause to move on, to urge onward, as with blows, as to drive cows to pasture. <laughs> Actually, the Kindle, uh, the self-publishing and digital revolution kind of happened for most of us who are already writing. We're already trying this old way. I think Amazon's amazing, not just for what they've given us writers, but it's just refreshing after, you know, kind of feeling like I'm just being ground through the system and to see Amazon's creativity. And all the people I've worked with who work there really believe in it. To me, living your life and not doing what you love is like, one of the biggest sins of all. So my life is structured so that I can rely on myself. I'm not having to be somewhere 10 hours a day or being somewhere at a specific time. I don't know if it's a simpler life, but um, it's one I love. Okay guys, so almost uh, we watched the many videos, so videos are complete, so we have the point number 36, uh, start, uh, start marketing program, build your brand, okay, so freelancer something, how to start uh, on, on online business and reach the million of shoppers, so this is a lot of idea for you guys, you start your own business, don't be shy, don't be scared, and don't just uh, think, think, think. If you're thinking a lot of, so you cannot able to do anything, create your branded store live online, so work from anywhere. So let me give you more more example, then we have to jump to a next step. You drive past the cemetery, you go down the hill, you pass the one exit, you go on the dirt road, and just keep going to the end of the drive, we're the only house along the way. <laughs> I don't need to have a traditional business space. 
I can basically do it from wherever I want, even if it's the middle of the woods. We are in Fairfield, Iowa. It's pretty far away from any major metropolitan areas. The population is about 9,500 people. So it's always surprising to see what interesting businesses on Amazon are hidden in all the different nooks and crannies around town. I was able to invent a proprietary enzyme in my kitchen sink. I started a line of natural lice treatment and prevention products. Bye, Bye buddy. Love you. Now today we're Logic Products, no longer just Lace Logic, and we have four lines on Amazon. I make jewelry. I actually weave fabric out of rose gold, yellow gold, or silver wire, and then embed it behind layers of glass that I fuse. I sell ghee. It's a great alternative to regular cooking oil. The process of making ghee involves melting down butter, filtering, pouring into jars, cooling, and then getting it ready for labeling and shipping off to Amazon. Selling on Amazon has been instrumental of our success. So these are the products that we're actually putting in the kits today. We are able to watch our sales every single day, look at our inventory levels. There's a whole bunch of different tools that have become available to you. You make your inventory, you send it in, done. We are really happy to be in a small community and we are continuing to grow and hire people that are looking for work. Our small business has been able to prosper and thrive because of Amazon. They're the best business partner I've had, you know, hands down, period. <laughs>
Very nice, very nice information. Step seven, resources. Step eight, approval. Amazon is built to support, okay. FAQ, main point, ideas is the online business ideas. Sharing online can be powerful tool. What is the best online business start? What kind of online business? What type of online business? Okay, how can start smaller? What is the best online business? Okay, to start from home. Sailing today. So this is almost done. So I give you the almost 38 ideas. So you have to understand uh, each of everyone because that is very very meaningful and they giving you a lot of uh, advantage to start your own business so right now don't be shy if you're not satisfied one time watch one more time again and again until you understand everything okay guys so let me show you next step nine tips to sell online success successfully and how to start on amazon how to sell on amazon we will discuss on this topic today right now nine, nine tips for selling selling with amazon build store tools growth best and uh, boost uh, sale okay how to sell on online how to sell online think to getting into selling online okay first tip nine tip for selling online successfully very first one okay what uh, you want to sell choose the right sale channel check a listing handle shopping way for to ship with Amazon okay so let me show you this one one of the first decisions to make when selling on Amazon is how to get shoppers their stuff as an Amazon seller you have two options you can do it yourself maintaining your own inventory and shipping products to customers or you can use fulfillment by Amazon or FBA to have us take care of it Fulfilling your own orders makes sense if you're selling a low volume of products, selling products with tighter margins, or want to ship with custom packaging. Basically, if you want more control over your inventory, it's a great choice. Programs are also available for you to list products with the Prime badge but still fulfill your own orders. If you'd like to offer Prime members the free two-day shipping they love and leave the logistics to us, FBA is the way to go. Amazon has fulfillment centers all over the world. With FBA, you store your products on our shelves and we fulfill your orders, handling shipping, customer service, refunds and returns. FBA makes sense if you're selling a large volume of products, selling products with higher margins, or just want a way to save time and scale your business. FBA also has programs for hazardous goods, oversized products, or smaller products with low price points. All of your FBA offers will be eligible for the Prime Badge and have a better chance of winning the featured offer on product detail pages. Your fulfillment strategy will depend on your business goals, and many sellers use a mix of FBA and fulfilling their own orders. Whichever method you choose, you can switch anytime, finding the best way to offer fast, convenient delivery to shoppers around the world. Build your business with Amazon. okay take a good photo okay so don't uh, forget this uh, the five step one two three four five take photo choose a wide photo filter okay don't do filter anything which one uh, including multiple photo showing different angles okay wide picturing other product not uh, included in the order okay 
those uh, steps should follow okay packing at home with care very carefully huh? so this one I did share you already so let me show you one more time because good for to understand I am an inventor as a kid I love to draw so I always had this book every time I get an idea I just run to the book draw it down when I was 13 years old my dad was cutting my hair you have an old school father from the Caribbean usually he tries to cut your hair and it just becomes one bald haircut so I got sick of it and I started creating these templates I created a product that would help me cut my own hair perfectly. My name's Joshua Esnard. I'm the inventor of the Cut Buddy. It's the first multi-curve hair grooming guide tool that allows you to edge up your beard and your hairlines. And we're based out of Chapel Hill, North Carolina. I released my product on my website originally. I started doing videos, but I'm looking at the comment section and people are roasting me. My hairline was receding. They're calling my hairline like a McDonald's arch. It's time for balding Josh not to be on the videos anymore. And I went and I found some guys that are more handsome than me. And they were my affiliates. We went viral. I sold out of my product and it actually went into a deficit. So I ended up owing people products. I was ready to give up. And then you get this email that just changes everything. I had a, a veteran uh, send me this email and it read, I take medication that makes my hands shake. With the Cut Buddy, I can make straight lines and beautiful curves without error. Because of you, even people with disabilities can have nice haircuts. This is the motivation that keeps me going. Up till this date, I've sold nearly 40,000 units of the Cut Buddy on Amazon and we're pushing around $600,000 in gross sales on just the Cut Buddy product. To see a kid from the Caribbean just playing around with little gadgets to something that has set me free financially, it's been amazing. Selling with Amazon, selling with Amazon. Guys, if you want to sell product to build on online, so look at this one, huh? Learn the, what to sell on Amazon, are easy to pack uh, branding, so this kind of. Be careful this one, huh? but pay to approval may be requested to list uh, product, okay? Be careful. Amazon business, Amazon handmade, add more, okay? So this one is very meaningful and I think it's almost done. I'm Scott Nicholson in Todd, North Carolina, the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina. I can't drive to town if I need a, a cart and a meal. It's not really convenient. So, you know, you may be snowed in for three days. You better have some food, your heating, your firewood. A lot of it's pretty boring to most people, but it's important to like feed the dogs, <laughs> feed the chickens. Those guys are getting up at seven o'clock no matter what, and they need to be taken care of, so there's no sleeping in. My goal was to always live like this. I just didn't know if writing would be a part of it. I grew up on the uh, front porch storytelling. I think that was my first exposure to the supernatural and ghosts that eventually became an interest in writing that kind of stuff. We were pretty poor growing up. I had uh, like five kids living in a little bitty trailer and uh, having a, a stack of paper just felt like wealth to me. In 1990, 
2004, I took a couple of writing classes, and that was the first time I had a teacher that said, you can do this, I say go for it, and I didn't really know what that meant, and he was like, you gotta write every day. I had 105 rejections before my first story sale. So I was sending out stories and getting three rejection slips in the mail and sending three out all the time. The business was funneling through tighter and tighter um, hoses, and there were, you know, it's like only a few agents and only a few publishers, and it's kind of like everything was uh, shrinking. Passion, feeling, emotion, specifically one of the feelings natural to all men as fear, hate, love, joy, etc. Oh, there was a conventional wisdom that you'd hear it at the conventions, you'd read it in the books. How only hacks self-publish. You have to get an agent. You've got to prove yourself by getting a million rejection slips. And then someone has to tell you that you're worthy. That was the turning point was when I quit sending that book to publishers and published it myself instead. And then at the end of the year, I added up all my income for the year month by month. It was like, if it's that solid, and it is already exceeding my uh, day job as a journalist, so I need to quit. This is the time to jump, <laughs> and it worked out. This has always been my goal in life as a writer, is to be able to make it work and stay at home and write on, according to my own schedule and have that freedom. Drive, to cause to move on, to urge onward, as with blows, as to drive cows to pasture. <laughs> Actually, the Kindle, uh, the self-publishing and digital revolution kind of happened for most of us who are already writing. We're already trying this old way. I think Amazon's amazing, not just for what they've given us writers, but it's just refreshing after, you know, kind of feeling like I'm just being ground through the system and to see Amazon's creativity. And all the people I've worked with who work there really believe in it. To me, living your life and not doing what you love is like, one of the biggest sins of all. So my life is structured so that I can rely on myself. I'm not having to be somewhere 10 hours a day or being somewhere at a specific time. I don't know if it's a simpler life, but um, it's one I love. Okay guys, so this one about uh, shoes business, build a store on amazon.com, product page, A plus content should be, should be, don't be, uh, do anything wrong, if you do anything wrong, Amazon uh, directly shut up, uh, shut up your, your uh, store, okay, and tool to grow your online business, seller center, seller center partner network. This picture is very nice. Should focus on this picture of most seller with the sponsor product, sponsor brand, product uh, sponsor display. How to reach more than uh, more customer and increase sale. Amazon. Your seller account set up, you've got the hang of selling on Amazon, and you're ready to grow. Ready to help reach more customers, increase sales, and engage shoppers throughout their journey, consider taking advantage of advertising, promotions, lightning deals, and coupons. When used together, they can create the momentum you need to carry your business to new heights. Get instant visibility with cost-per-click ads. Sponsored products display within Amazon search results and on product pages, right where customers see them. Sponsored brands, available to brand owners, take it a step further, featuring your logo, headline, and up to three products, helping shoppers see your brand the way you want it to be seen. You control how much you spend and how long the campaign runs, and you only pay when they click. Customers also love getting a deal. Help them out by running lightning deal flash sales on one of the most visited pages on Amazon or offer coupons, allowing users to click for savings in search results on product pages or in their shopping carts. Promotions can also help make the sale, offer free shipping, percentage discounts, or buy one get one free promos. 
and get a custom Amazon URL to share in your marketing campaigns. Promoting products can be vital to your Amazon strategy, helping you drive sales, launch new products, generate reviews, and more. The right audience, the right place, and the right time. Give your listings the attention they deserve and start advertising today. Build your business with Amazon. Promotion deal. Okay, guys. So now is the time to for FAQ. How can start? What is the best? where i can what does uh, does cost it cost how much how can okay guys okay start today so this topic is almost done so if you want to rewatch this video you can check the one more time if you not understand right now so just uh, check recheck this video that's best for you to learn okay guys so if you have any question about this topic let me know i will love, uh, love to give you the answer as soon as possible okay guys let's jump next topic what is the e-commerce okay this topic is very very uh, good for you type of advantage and this disadvantage okay what is the e-commerce what is the what is an e-commerce website so this type of question we will discuss right now what are the type of the e-commerce where uh, and how does e-commerce take place m e-commerce m commerce so this type of question okay what are the advantage and disadvantage benefit Re retail global mis uh, marketing reach sponsored easy on ordering product low uh, operating cost Okay guys challenge limit limited fee, face to face technical difficulties date security shipping and fulfillment what make an e-commerce store successful great product smooth online experience amazon orders trade now holiday sale prime day should be follow this one how to start your first now the question okay guys what time are people what time are people how many is the camera still growing yes yes guy yes okay guys let jump other one start 
e-commerce business in 2022 so this kind of question just focus this question what are the e-commerce business keep uh, st steps to launch your e-commerce business key starting how to start step 1 business idea how would friends might out when my son was born 10 years ago i decided to make him some soft soled baby leather moccasins really with not the intent to sell them made them put them up on my blog and a lot of people wanted to buy them so i started selling those and thank goodness for the couple people that bought my first things cuz they were terrible <laughs> but there is something that amazing that happens when you become a parent where there's this beautiful change that happens freshly picked the shoes the baby soft sole moccasins are these beautiful shoes that represent that time i mean to be frank amazon kind of always scared me um because it's it is it's big and it's fast can we grow this channel can we get good reviews does our price point work there we were concerned about us being able to control the message and us being able to control the experience with a consumer all the brands that we respected and that we looked to for cues on how to do things they all had us uh, reference on amazon we found that the tools the features can mimic what we're doing on our website so on our amazon storefront we always try and have lifestyle shoots that are showing our product in use and uh, many different scenarios so that you you can look at the product and picture yourself in it. And when we can incorporate mocks on a baby and and the bag on a on a mom, I think it brings that whole feeling of how you're going to use it together in one photo and tells a good story. We're here at in Linden, Utah at our manufacturing plant and it is really busy. They are currently working, making product. Um you can hear it right now. And now it's quiet. <laughs> When our customers open the package, we want them to be as delighted and excited as they are when they open the package as they were when they bought it. I think sometimes you can get lost in the minutia of logistics and sourcing, but Amazon has made that easier for us. Packing up our products, sending it off and not worrying about fulfilling to the end customer, doing all of the customer support, you know, that that's kind of been relieved so that that we can focus on designing and really the fun part of the, of the brand. <laughs> Every time you enter a new sales channel, you're concerned like will this cannibalize what we've already built or will it allow us to access new customers? And so there's always that risk there. But I was surprised at how quickly sales started popping on Amazon. I really was. So our emerging brands rep has been able to give us like a calendar of events like here's some important days that are coming on to Amazon. Here's when we know traffic will be there and we've been able to participate in a deal of the day. We've been able to understand what's happening, um what's not happening when we've had hiccups within some listings. And so just having that open channel of communication and having someone who we know is going to answer the phone, it's been vital to the success. We're launching products almost every day. So we run um sponsored brands and ads as well as sponsored product ads um trying to connect with people and what they're searching for over the next like 5 to 10 years we really want to build this brand so that it becomes a legacy brand something moms can count on as we're looking at expanding the brand and growing to the next level amazon became a clear channel that we needed to go into and grow in a meaningful way anyone with the right idea and the right amount of hustle and if you're willing to work hard for it that yeah you can succeed on amazon it's a great place to start a business Okay guys question to ask yourself when looking for product ideas your product already eleven tips for choosing the right product to sell online help protect your brand scoring your brand choosing an online selling channel
Oh, hope. When my son was born 10 years ago, I decided to make him some soft-soled baby leather moccasins, really with not the intent to sell them. Made them, put them up on my blog, and a lot of people wanted to buy them, so I started selling those. And thank goodness for the couple people that bought my first things, because they were terrible. <laughs> but there is something that amazing that happens when you become a parent, where there's this beautiful change that happens. Freshly picked, the shoes, the baby soft sole moccasins are these beautiful shoes that represent that time. I mean, to be frank, Amazon kind of always scared me um, because it's, it is, it's big and it's fast. Can we grow this channel? Can we get good reviews? Does our price point work there? We were concerned about us being able to control the message and us being able to control the experience with a consumer. All the brands that we respected and that we looked to for cues on how to do things, they all had uh, storefronts on Amazon. We found that the tools, the features can mimic what we're doing on our website. So on our Amazon storefront, we always try and have lifestyle shoots that are showing our product in use uh, many different scenarios so that you can look at the product and picture yourself in it. When we can incorporate mocks on a baby and, and the bag on a, on a mom, I think it brings that whole feeling of how you're gonna use it together in one photo and tells a good story. We're here uh, in Linden, Utah at our manufacturing plant and it is really busy. They are currently working, making product. Um, you can hear it right now. And now it's quiet. <laughs> when our customers open the package, we want them to be as delighted and excited as they are when they open the package as they were when they bought it. I think sometimes you can get lost in the minutia of logistics and sourcing, but Amazon has made that easier for us. Packing up our products, sending it off, and not worrying about fulfilling to the end customer, doing all of the customer support, you know, that, that's kind of been relief so that, that we can focus on designing and really the fun part of the, of the brand. <laughs> Every time you enter a new sales channel, you're concerned, like, will this cannibalize what we've already built? Or will it allow us to access new customers? And so there's always that risk there. But I was surprised at how quickly sales started popping on Amazon. I really was. So our Emerging Brands rep has been able to give us like a calendar of events, like here's some important days that are coming on to Amazon, here's when we know traffic will be there, and we've been able to participate in a deal of the day. We've been able to understand what's happening, um, what's not happening, when we've had hiccups within some listings. And so just having that open channel of communication and having someone who we know is going to answer the phone, it's been vital to the success. We're launching products almost every day, so we run um, sponsored brands ads as well as sponsored product ads, um, trying to connect with people and what they're searching for. Over the next like five to ten years, we really want to build this brand so that it becomes a legacy brand, something moms can count on. As we're looking at expanding the brand and growing to the next level, Amazon became a clear channel that we needed to go into and grow in a meaningful way. Anyone with the right idea and the right amount of hustle and if you're willing to work hard for it, that yeah, you can succeed on Amazon. It's a great place to start a business. Okay guys, step 5, setting up your online store, build your online, okay, how to... Just getting started selling on Amazon? Wondering how to showcase your products and win over customers? Detail pages are where customers make their buying decision, and high-quality listings make it easier to discover, evaluate, and purchase your products. To build a great listing, put some work into the details. Titles, images, bullet points, descriptions, and keywords can all help you construct a page that converts. Let's take a look at how the best page builders get the job done. The first thing customers see is your title. It also helps determine where you show up in search results. A concise, relevant title will drive the most traffic to your detail page. For most categories, there's a quick formula. High quality images can also set your product apart. Choose images that are clear, easy to understand, and attractively presented. Be sure to follow the requirements in Seller Central and category style guides to avoid any headaches. To give customers a snapshot product overview, perfect your bullet points. 
These appear prominently on the detail page, right next to your images, so focus on the most important product information. Further down the detail page is your product description. This is your chance to let customers imagine owning your product. Put yourself in their shoes. What would you want to know? Lastly, help customers find your product in searches with the right keywords. Provide search terms customers might use. Don't forget synonyms, spelling variations, or alternate names. Why put all this effort into optimizing your listings? It's all about giving customers a clear and compelling case to purchase your product. The right details can help you grow your brand, increase sales, and attract new customers. Okay, guys. Launching and running your online business. E-commerce fulfillment, storing, shipping, and return. Track business. E-commerce marketing and product promotions. Social media marketing. Launch an e-commerce business in uh, Amazon store. Sometimes the biggest ideas start with a sketch. Take Jeff Bezos, for instance. He scribbled his legendary flywheel on a napkin in 2001, when Amazon first invited third parties to sell in our stores. The flywheel was a simple way to show how these new selling partners could share in Amazon's growth by giving shoppers greater selection, lower prices, and more of what they love. That simple sketch inspired a global infrastructure built to support you in one of the most challenging and rewarding things you'll ever do, build a business. With over 300 million active customers in 180 plus countries, Amazon helps businesses of all sizes reach more shoppers. More than half the items sold in our stores worldwide are sold by small and medium-sized businesses. Those same businesses exceeded $1.5 billion in sales during the 2018 Prime Day event. If you've got a great product and a passion for selling, we have the tools, training, and services to help you with every aspect of selling online. Engage with Amazon shoppers who are ready to buy. Scale your business with our world-class logistics and achieve your sales goals with the power of one of the most trusted brands in the world. It's a great time to build a business, and no matter what you're selling, it's a perfect time to build your business with Amazon. We come with business questions. Toll. Very first one. Second one. Third one. What is the B2C e-commerce? What is Amazon B2B? What is uh, is the BAB testing? Uh, what is uh, what is search? Start selling. Okay, guys. It's almost done. Let's jump next one. Start e-commerce business in 2022. How to start e-commerce business. Okay guys. So we will discuss uh, this topic in next, uh, next video. So take it yourself and around your people. So if you like this video, like it and share and we will discuss this topic on, on our next video. See you guys.